and Frank. Alexander Zapruder. National Geographic. Scholastic Inc. For Hannah and Toby with all my love. Who was Anne Frank? Can you imagine being punished just for being who you are? Or because you look, think, or feel differently from those around you? Yo! Yo! Hey! Nick Gatos? Gatos. It's Gatos, right? That's cool. Alright. This is what happened to many people in Europe in the 1930s and 40s. It started when a group of Nazis... Nazis... took over the country of Germany under the leadership of a man named Adolf Hitler. The Nazis changed laws to control people's lives. They hated many people, but they treated Jews worst of all. The Nazis told Jews where they could go and what they could do. Many Jews no longer felt safe, even in their own homes. Uh, Nazis, a group of people who followed the ideas of a German leader named Adolf Hitler. Jews born into a Jewish family or who practiced the religion of Judaism. And then that is a huge crowd of Nazi soldiers gathered to hear Adolf Hitler speak in Germany in 1936. Anne Frank was born into a German Jewish family. Her family moved from Germany to Holland to escape the Nazis. But when she was 11 years old, the Nazis attacked Holland. She and her family hid from them for almost two years. During that time, she kept a diary. She wrote almost every day about her life, thoughts, and feelings. Years later, Anne Frank's diary was published and read by millions. Even though she was a teenager, her diary helped many people, even grown-ups, understand how she and others felt during this time, in her own words. It's a little quote. Cool. It's got her. I hope I will be able to confide everything to you as I have never been able to confide in anyone, and I hope you will be a great source of comfort and support. Anne Frank's diary has been published in 70 languages around the world. Childhood in Germany. Anne Frank was born in Germany in 1929. She lived with her parents, Edith and Otto Frank, and her older sister, Margaret and Margaret Ann's relatives had lived in Germany for a long time. For her family, being Jewish was important, and so was being German. When Ann was free, Adolf Hitler took power in Germany. He was a dictator who blamed the Jews for Germany's problems. He gave speeches to huge crowds. His followers, the Nazis, made sure his ideas were always on the radio and in the newspaper. Over time, Hitler convinced many people that he was right. Others went along because they were scared of what would happen to them if they disagreed. Dictator, a leader who makes all the rules for a country and controls the people, Adolf Hitler. The Nazis were an anti-Semitic anti-semitic were anti-semitic that means they hated Jews they also punished people for uh, who did not want Adolf Hitler to be their leader they made life terrible for anyone who didn't fit into their idea of what a German citizen should be like many people especially Jews suddenly became outsiders in their own country the Nazis used an ancient figure called the swastika as their symbol. They put it on they put it everywhere on flags, uniforms, posters, and buildings. For thousands of years uh, before, the swastika was a symbol for good, but the Nazis used it to frighten people and show them that they were in charge of Germany. Uh, Anne's parents no longer felt safe in Germany. They wanted to get their family away from the Nazis. They moved to the nearby country of Holland, hoping it would be 
there would be they would find safety there. That says Nazi soldiers make arrest. Bonus points if you can name that gun. I can. I bet you can too. If you like guns. I know I do. Life in Holland. Anne's family found a home in the city of Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Anne and Margaret learned to speak Dutch, the language of Holland, and went to school. Anne had many friends. Some were Jewish and others were not. She went to birthday parties and the movies and she played ping pong. On her 13th birthday, she began writing her diary. Anne was curious and loved to talk. Once when her teacher scolded her for talking, she got out of trouble by writing funny stories about a chatterbox in her own words. I get along with my teachers, Mr. Kiesing, an old fogey teacher uh, who teaches math, uh, was mad at me for the longest time because I talked too much. World War II. Adolf Hitler and the Nazis wanted to rule all of Europe. They began taking over nearby countries. Then on September 1st, 1939, the German army attacked Poland. Great Britain and France declared war on Germany to defend Poland and tried to stop Hitler, World War II had begun. Meanwhile, in the Pacific, once there were other battles brewing, Japan wanted to rule all of East Asia. Countries far away from Germans were falling under Japanese control. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese bombed the United States Naval Base Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. The next day, the United States declared war on Japan and soon after joined Great Britain in fighting Nazi Germany and the other Axis countries. And there's a nice graph. The two sides. German invaded many countries in Europe during the war. They and the other countries that fought on their side were called the Axis powers. The Americans, British, and Russians worked together to defeat them. They were called the Allies. The two sides fought a bitter war for six years and a Millions died. Invade. To enter, try to take over a place by force. Separating Jews. The Nazis did everything they could to separate Jews. They forced them to wear a yellow star with the word Jew um, on their clothing so that everyone would know who was Jewish. Segregate, to separate someone or something from others. In May 1940, the Germans invaded Holland. Right away, the Nazis passed laws to take away the rights of Jews and other people. Jews were no longer allowed to own bicycles, go to the movies, or walk to public parks. They could not even visit non-Jewish friends. Nazis had all of the power. They could do whatever they wanted Jews lived in constant fear of being arrested, beaten, or killed. Then the Nazis made plans to send the Jews away from Holland. No one knew where they would be going. In her own words, our freedom was severely restricted by a series of anti-Jewish decrees. You could do this, and you couldn't do that, and do that, but life went on. That's something she said. What is this building? In her own words, uh, Margaret and I started packing our most important belongings into a school bag. The first thing I stuck in was this diary, then curlers, handkerchiefs, school books, a comb, and some old letters. I stuffed the craziest thing in my bag. The building where the Franks hid in Amsterdam is now a museum called Anne Frank House, made famous by Justin Bieber. On June 5th, 1942, Margaret got a call-up notice. This meant that the Nazis planned to take her away. The family refused to be separated. They went into hiding instead. Anne's parents had been preparing their hiding place for many months. They called it a the secret annex, Annex. It's spelled like that. Uh, it was attached to a warehouse, and the entrance was behind a cupboard 
four workers from Mr. Frank's business help the family. And that's a layout of it. And had to pack and leave in a hurry. She did not know what it would be like in hiding or if she would ever have a normal life again. One floor of the secret annex, a building attached to the warehouse. And there's... Inside the secret annex, the family was... The Frank family was first to arrive in the hiding place. A week later, they were joined by a couple named Mr. and Mrs. Van Peels and their son Peter. At first, Anne and Margaret shared a room and decorated the walls with photos of movie stars. In her own words, this is Anne Frank. Up to now, our bedroom was very bare, thanks to Father, who brought my entire postcard and movie star collection here. I was able to plaster the walls with pictures. It looked much more cheerful. Anne's bedroom in Secret Annex is pictured here in Anne Frank's house. Here is who helped. Mia, Bep, and others often brought food, clothing, and supplies. It was very dangerous. Jay Jews in hiding if Nazis found those who helped the Franks would be punished. They were brave people that did the right thing. Daily life was hard. Anne was only rarely allowed to open a window and she could never go outside. After a few months, a man named Fritz Pfeffer Pfeffer Fritz Pfeffer came to hide in a secret annex too. Uh, Margaret got moved into their parents' room and Anne had to share a room with him instead of a bed. She slept on the two chairs pushed together. In her own words, not being able to go outside upstairs, uh, <clears throat> not being able to go outside upsets me more than I can say, and I'm terrified our hiding place will be discovered. Eight people lived in a cramped place with the constant fear of being caught. If the Nazis found them, they would be arrested and probably killed. A few times, they almost got caught. Uh, these were terrifying moments. They had to share everything, even one small bathroom. Uh, sometimes they complained around and argued with each other. In her own words, footsteps in the house, the private office, the kitchens, then... On the staircase, all sounds of breathing stopped, eight hearts pounded. Then we heard a can fall and the footsteps receded. We were out of danger so far, exclamation point. If I was hiding, I wouldn't even use exclamation points for anything. It brings, brings too much tension. Pictured in Anne Frank's house, this room was shared as a living room, dining room, but was also a bedroom of the Van Pels family. There were many rules to keep the hiding place safe. They had to stay away from windows so no one would see them. They had to be quiet all day. They couldn't even flush the toilet until the warehouse workers left at night. They always had to be careful. Anne's diary. Anne's diary was like a best friend during these scary times. She even gave her diary the name Kitty. Meow. If she wasn't easily growing up in hiding. It wasn't easy growing up in hiding. Even though she was surrounded by people, Anne felt alone. Her friends were gone. She couldn't play like the other kids. Sometimes she argued with her parents and sisters. Other times, she felt like everyone was bossing her around. And when Anne got fed up, she told her diary how she felt. And there's a picture. Anne dreamed of being a writer when she grew up. Sometimes she felt discouraged, but she didn't give up. She kept working toward her goal of being a real writer and described what it was like to hide from Nazis. 
She paid attention and wrote down the details in her diary. One day, Anne heard of on the radio that people were planning to collect diaries after the war. She thought people might want to read her diary, too. Uh, so she worked uh, even harder on writing than before. In her own words, I really believe, Kit, that I am a little nutty today, and I don't know why. My writing is all mixed up. I'm jumping from one thing to another, and sometimes I seriously doubt whether anyone will ever be interested in this drivel. Ha! Jokes on her. Everyone cares. Uh, on August 4th, 1944, the worst fears of Frank uh, family came true. At about 10.30 a.m., a group of Nazis burst into the hiding place. They arrested everyone, including the two of the helpers. The Nazis sent the hiders to West Burke, a concentration camp in Holland. One month later, they sent... Uh, uh, they were sent on a terrible three-day train ride to Auschwitz, Birkenau, uh, a camp in Poland. Concentration camp. A place where Nazis held Jews and other people. Many people were killed or died there. That's, that's what a concentration camp is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Auschwitz, Birkenau. One well known concentration camp was Auschwitz, Ber Auschwitz, Birkenau in Poland. Anne Frank, her sister, and mother were among millions of people sent there. When a train arrived, those uh, who were young, old, or looked sick, or looked too sick to work, were taken away and killed. The others entered the camp where guards took their clothes and all their possessions. They shaved the prisoners' heads and gave each gave each one a striped uniform. Prisoners worked all day at hard labor. At night, they were crowded into hard bunks with a single blanket for several people. There were there was almost no food, and people died of terrible hunger sickness. Jews from Hungary arrive at Auschwitz-Birkenau, June 1944. Looked like rough stuff. Arriving in the camp was terrifying. It was dark. Well, you can't really write that down as fact because that's that's objective, isn't it? No, that would be subjective. That that would be an opinion. Maybe someone liked it. Ah, huh. yeah, there were like a ton of dicks. And then uh, a bunch of people were upset. Later, Anne and Margaret got sent together with their mother to Bergen, Belsen, Bear, Jibrip, and Bubba camp. Uh, they both got sick and died of a disease called typhus in March of 1945, about two months before the end of the war. Of uh, the eight people who had been hiding, only Anne's father, Otto Frank, survived. Awkward. Barbed wire and high fences kept prisoners from escaping the concentration camp. Oh man, some more stuff. End of the war. The Allied American, British, and Russian armies defeated the Germans in World War II. Adolf Hitler died in April 1945. April 30th, 1945. And the war in Europe ended on May 8th. The Allied soldiers all entered the concentration camps and liberated, liberated the prisoners. The Nazi period of terror was over, but Europe would be torn apart for many years to come. Survivors of a concentration camp. It took a long time for people to recover from what had happened to them. Many of them had lost everything, their homes, their jobs, their families. And friends, it was difficult to start over with almost nothing, but people slowly rebuilt their lives. Liberate, to set free, defeat, to win a war, battle, or contest against a person, group, or country. Finding Anne's Diary. Anne's Writing Desk, Secret Annex. June 12, 1929, Anne Frank was born in Frankfurt, Germany. January 1933, Hitler became Chancellor of Germany. By February 1934, all of the Frank family has moved to Holland. 
Mimp who had helped the Franks uh, found and and Mimp who had helped the Franks found Anne's diary in the hiding place. She gathered her notebook, paper, and the diary and put them in a safe place. She hoped that Anne would come back at the end of the war to get them. Uh, Anne never came back, but her father Otto died. He found out after. Oh, didn't die. <clears throat> Anne never came back, but her father Otto did. Uh, he found out after the war that his wife and two daughters had died. He was terribly sad and alone. Then uh, Mia gave him Anne's diary and papers. He read them and decided to make Anne's dream of being a published writer come true. Germans of it, uh, May 1940, Germans of Aid Holland, June 6, 1942, Frank go in hiding in August 4, 1944, people in secret annex arrested, sent to Auschwitz one month later. Anne's diary was published in 1947, since then millions have read it. Her diary inspired a play and a movie. Um, I saw the play and I think that Laura's brother, um, was in it. And I think we went and saw it. It was awesome. Well, he was in a different play. I know for a fact he was in um, Heaven Can Wait. He did really good. And he had like a, a duck on a, um, on a safety pin. He was like, hey, it's good luck. I was like, sweet. Uh, through her diary, Anne Frank told people that it was through her diary, Anne Frank told people what it was like to live in hiding. She shared things that we would not know if she hadn't written them down. She was young, but she helped many people, including grown-ups, understand an important part of our history. October 1944, Anne Frank and Margaret Margot got sent to uh, Bergen, Belsen, Edith Frank was forced to stay in Auschwitz, June 6, 1945. Edith Frank dies at Auschwitz, uh, January 27, 1945. Auschwitz liberated by Russian army. Otto Frank is Farid. Children visit a reconstruction of Anne in secret annex at Wax Museum in Berlin. Huh. Wax people. March 1945, Anne and Margaret die at uh, Bergen Belsen on Frank Terms to that, uh, returns to Amsterdam, and then summer 1947, Anne's diary first published in Amsterdam. <clears throat> Six other youth writers. Anne Frank wasn't the only teenager to keep a diary. Many others did, too. Some hid like she did. Some left their homes to find safety. Others lived in ghettos. Each diary helped us understand more about life during this time. Ghetto, a closed off area usually in a Polish town or city where the Nazis forced Jews to live. 15 year old Otto Wolf hid in a forest with his sister and parents. He wrote almost every day for three years. He was killed shortly before the end of the war. His sister and his parents survived. Uh, Peter Ferrero started his diary in hiding in France at age 13. He hid for nearly two years, helped by a Catholic Quaker Protestant rescuer. He escaped to Switzerland and then settled in America after the war. Uh, Fridge, age 15, gave his uh, diary in the ghetto to in Lithuania. He wrote about studying and learning with other young people in the ghetto. He and his family did not survive. Aw. Bummer. Miriam Korber, was born in Romania. She wrote her diary at age 18 in a ghetto uh, in Ukraine. She became a doctor after the war. Um, Peter Gins and Eva Jivareva were brother and sister. They both wrote diaries in a ghetto called Terezin, and Peter made many works of art there too. He was killed in a concentration camp at age 15. Eva survived and became an artist. 
AKA a hippie. Uh, Anne Frank was one million of. Anne Frank was one of millions of people killed during the Nazi genocide. Genocide. Uh, we called we call this event in history the Holocaust. Holocaust. Uh, Tower of Faces at the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. That's what it looks like. That's why I was saying it weird because I kind of like tell you how to say it. Glossary. Concentration camp, a place where Nazis held Jews and other many people uh, were killed or died there. Genocide, the planned killing of a group of people because of who they are and what they believe. Ghetto, a closed off area, usually in a Polish town or city where the Nazis forced Jews to live together. Uh, Jews, uh, those born into a Jewish family or who practice the religion of Judaism. Liberate, to set free, defeat, to win a war, battle, or contest against a person, group, or country. Dictator, a leader who makes all the rules for a country and controls its people. Holocaust, the Nazi organized killing of Jews and other people in Europe during World War II. Invade, to enter or try to take over a place, often by force. Nazis, a group of people who followed the ideas of a German leader named Adolf Hitler. Segregate, to separate, to separate someone or something from others. And then there's an index. I got that for... I, I got that at Meet the Teacher Night. And uh, I thought I would oh. practice reading out loud 